Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 20 second tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we'll be checking out a very interesting feature of HTML and that is to embed audio clips in web pages. And uh, the HTML file that I have here is very simple. On line number one, I have the doc type declaration and then between the opening and closing HTML tags on lines uh, two and 14 respectively, I have uh, the head section and the body section. And uh, the head section has the title tags and the title of the web pages embedding audio in web pages. And then inside the body section, I have uh, the heading of the page first. On line number seven, I've used the opening and closing H1 tags and the text that's enclosed is here's some music for you. And uh, then on line number eight, I have the audio element with the, the attribute controls and this attribute doesn't take any value. You know, it's I, I'll tell you what the significance of the controls attribute is in just a minute. Uh, then on line number nine, I have uh, another element that goes along with the audio element, right? So you have to keep the audio element first and then within it include the, uh, you know, the source uh, element or the source tag. And, uh, you know, as I said, this has to be within it. So you, you're going to con close your audio element after you've closed your source element. And uh, the source uh, element is used to, you know, tell the browser where the, the file is kept and what the type of the file is. So you tell the name of the file and the extension, uh, you know, through the SRC attribute. So you type in SRC the name of the attribute, use the equal to symbol and then within double quotes as a value to it, you pass in the name of the file along with the extension. So the file name that I'm going to use is audio.mp3 and this is in the same folder as this HTML file, right? So I have these two files uh, in a folder that I have on my desktop. So, you know, this is the folder and uh, this is the file. I guess it's uh, tutorial-22. So you know, this is the file. And then the audio clip that I've, I'm using for the web page is also in the same folder. That's why I haven't included the full path of uh, of the file here. But if suppose I had it in a different folder, you know, if I had it in the music folder, then, you know, all you have to do if you have your file in the music folder or in some other folder is go to the file, you know, wherever it is, and, uh, you know, just right click on it, go to properties, and copy the file location and paste it here because you'll have to, you know, put the full path of the file if you don't have it in the same folder as your uh, HTML file. And then uh, the source element also requires you to include the type attribute and the type attribute takes the, you know, uh, format of the file. So if it's uh, an audio MPEG file, then that's what you have to include here. If it's a flag format file, then you have to include that. And uh, the format also goes within uh, double quotes. And then I have uh, closed the source element, you know, using the forward slash and the uh, greater than symbol. And then I also have a paragraph of text on line number 10. Uh, you know, I have the opening P tag on line number 11. I have the closing P tag and the text that's enclosed is your browser does not support this file or feature. And this text will be displayed only if, uh, you know, your web browser is unable to play this file for some reason. Right. And uh, then I have closed the audio element, closed the body section, closed the, uh, you know, entire HTML file. And, uh, you know, this is how the file looks when I open it in Google Chrome. And uh, I'm going to play this file for you. So what you can do is you can, um, you know, scroll back, you can scroll forward if you want to. And, uh, you know, you can adjust the volume, you can pause it, you can play it. So, you know, these controls are sufficient. I mean, if you have an audio clip on a website, you know, what more can you ask uh, for? You can play, pause, you can uh, move forward, backward, and then you can adjust the volume, right? And uh, then, uh, you know, let's talk about this controls thing now. So. Uh, let's say I remove this from my audio element. I'll save the file and uh, I'll go back to Chrome and I'll refresh my page. And I see now that, you know, all the controls that I was just talking about, they're, they're gone now, right? So this is the significance of the controls attribute there. You know, it helps you uh, have the uh, play pause buttons and then, you know, uh, it helps you adjust the volume and, uh, you know, obviously you can seek forward or backward. So I'll get it back and save the file and refresh it in Chrome again to have the controls back. And, uh, you know, it plays wonderfully, right? 
so that's it for this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss more interesting features of html and uh, i hope you guys are having fun in the course and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care